24-year-old Sharika Adams had been dating Ray Carruth, a wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers, when she became pregnant with his child. According to friends, Carruth didn't want to pay future child support. Around midnight on November 16, 1999, after going to the movies, they drove to Adams' house in separate cars, with Carruth in front. When he stopped on a deserted road in Charlotte, a third vehicle pulled alongside Adams' car, and a gunman opened fire. Despite massive internal injuries, Adams managed to call 911. That just happened. Uh, I was following my baby daddy, Ray Caruso, the football player. Where's he, he at? He was in the car in front of me, and he slowed down and somebody pulled up and said, I'm in this. And then I where'd think, he go? He just left. I think he did it. I don't know what to think. After 11 weeks and 70 witnesses, closing arguments were heard on January 15, 2001. The prosecution played the 911 tape again and emphasized the record of a long series of phone calls between Ray Carruth and the shooter in the third vehicle. Carruth did not take the stand in his own defense. On January 19th, the jury returned with a verdict, finding Ray Carruth not guilty of first-degree murder, but guilty on the other three charges, which were conspiracy to commit murder, shooting into an occupied vehicle, and using an instrument to destroy an unborn child. He was sentenced to no less than 18 years, 11 months, and not more than 24 years and four months in prison. So Ray Carruth's sentencing is more than fair. And one of my reasons being is that he was not trying to kill his girlfriend. He was driving alongside of her. And he had previously that day been um, part of a drug deal gone bad. And when he, see, he saw the drug dealers pull up next to the car, he tried to speed up and get away. And that's how we ended up in front of his girlfriend's car. And the drug dealer shot into the girlfriend's car when she made an obscene gesture at the drug dealers. And, and to follow up what uh, my partner just said, he also was charged with shooting into an occupied vehicle. And he never even shot into the vehicle, which is a very big problem in this case because one of his three charges was, was for that, but it never even occurred, which, which doesn't make any sense at all. Also, he was supposed to be blocking Sharik Adams' car, yet he was on the complete opposite side of her, and then he sped up to get in front of her. So the fact that he blocked her makes no sense when you think about what he did as opposed to what they say he did. But what reason would he have to block her in? Like he could have sped up and sped off to get away from them. He didn't have to stop in front of her car. That just makes it look sneaky. Like it makes him look like he wanted her killed, which happened in the end. And also, the two accomplices that he had both testified against him in the courtroom, saying one of them said that he gave them $100 cash to buy a gun, and the other one said his purpose for meeting up with them was just to get rid of Sharika so she would not have the kid. So obviously, that shows that his intent was to kill her and the kid, so his sentence should have been longer. So you think the 18 to 24 years wasn't long enough, even though he never even shot into their car? And it was only based off of testimony from people who got shorter sentences that said he was involved? You think he really should have got that sentence? I think his sentence should have been longer because one, that was attempted murder of the son. Two, that was technically premeditated murder of his girlfriend because he thought of a plan of how he wanted her to get killed and he hired other people to make it happen. So honestly, attempted murder usually gets you at least like a life sentence by itself. And then with the attempted, like with the first degree murder or premeditated murder, you get either life or the death penalty. So those two combined, he should have just got the death penalty. Sherika Adams 
baby was able to be saved, but she ended up dying one month after the shooting. And currently, Sherka Adams' mother takes care of Chancellor Adams, um, Ray Cruz's son, who currently suffers from brain damage, brain damage and cerebral palsy. But they aren't discouraged, and uh, Mrs. Adams looks at it as a miracle every day she gets to spend with her son. Ray Crew is still 